New Year's Eve, 1984, Beverly Hills, California. Just after 6 p.m., an elderly man in his early 80s is escorting his wife into the entryway of an apartment building. The two had been invited to an old friend's New Year's party and had just arrived with a bottle of wine to offer. After pushing for the elevator, Tom Korshak and his wife noticed a 26-year-old man who had followed them inside was beginning to rush in their direction. The assailant held out a pocketed finger as if to indicate he had a gun in his jacket. Korshak and his wife were told to remove all their valuables and throw them over. The older couple needed a few moments to collect themselves in order to comply with the request. The robber, now extremely agitated, began cursing out the pair and screaming at them, once again demanding money and jewelry. Korshak, instead, while setting down his bottle of wine harmlessly, reached inside his jacket and revealed a 38 revolver. He sent two slugs into the thug, which sent him to his getaway car. Anticipating a quick cash and dash, the perpetrator had left the engine running. He never made it behind the wheel, collapsing on the sidewalk. An hour later, he was pronounced dead at an area hospital. Though the gun was unregistered, Korshak had carried it for years because of his business as a jeweler. He had been receiving dialysis treatments for several months and was unable to appear in court after the shooting. A month later, Mr. Korshak would be charged with carrying a gun without a permit and fined $100, but would face no criminal charges since it was deemed he was acting in self-defense.